In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between a statistic and a parameter. But first, what do you think the difference is between the two? Statistics are characteristics that describe a sample. Parameters are characteristics that describe the population. Now you need to know the difference between a sample and the population. The population will represent everyone or everything in a study. The sample is basically a subset of the population. It's a small portion of the population. So let's say in town XYZ, we have 100,000 people. And let's say we wish to estimate the average age of the 100,000 residents in town XYZ. Now, it's going to be a lot of work to get the age of each individual and average all of their ages. But instead, let's say if we talk to 100 individuals out of the 100,000, ask for their ages, and then take the average. So the average age of those 100 individuals would be the sample mean. So that is a statistic. The true average age of all of the 100,000 residents of town XYZ, that would be the population mean. That's a parameter. So the sample is a small subset of the population. The population is 100,000, but the sample that we chose is only 100 individuals out of the population of 100,000. So hopefully that helps you to see the difference between a sample and a population. Now let's talk about some variables that would also highlight the differences between statistics and parameters. So this symbol represents the sample mean. So that would be a statistic because it describes the mean of the sample. That symbol, mu, is the mean of the population. That's a parameter. It's a characteristic of the population. S stands for the standard deviation of a sample. So that would be a statistic. Sigma is the standard deviation of the population. That's a parameter. S squared represents the sample variance. Sigma squared is the variance of the population. So that's a parameter. Next, we have proportions. The sample proportion is simply p hat. And the parameter, I mean, excuse me, the population proportion is simply p. Finally, we have the sample size. Well, let me just say the size. The size of the sample is represented by the symbol lowercase n. So that would be a statistic. The size of the population is represented by the symbol capital N. So that is a parameter. So hopefully these symbols will help you to see the difference between a statistic and a parameter. Now let's take a brief quiz. So for each of these statements, determine if it describes a statistic or a parameter. Number one, the average weight of all males in the United States. Is that a statistic or a parameter? What would you say? Now remember, a parameter would describe everyone in the group. A statistic would describe only some of the individuals in the group. So for number one, we're dealing with the weight of all the males in the US. So that is a parameter. Number two, the average height of 100 cats in the state of California. California have millions of people. And in the whole state, there's millions of cats. 
So if we're calculating the average height of 100 cats, we're calculating the height of a small subset of the entire population. So this would be a statistic. Because our study involves just a small portion of the entire population. Number three, the average test of 20 students in the class of 500. In that class, the population will be the 500. That's everyone in the class. But our study involves only 20 out of the 500. So we're taking a small sample from the population. This would be a statistic. Number four, the average test score of all students in the class. So that is the entire population of everyone in the class. So the average test score would be a parameter. So since we're dealing with averages or mean, the symbol for number one would be mu. And the same is true for number four. For two and three, the symbol would be x bar to represent the sample mean. So that's it for this video. So now you know the difference between a statistic and a parameter, and you also know the difference between a sample and a population. Thanks again for watching.